In the previous video, we have discussed regarding Angular services. Now it's time to understand about Angular routing. So before we go to Angular routing, what is a prerequisite? Currently for our web, web application, we have only a single web page. So before we use routing concept, we need another page which should be created so that we can navigate from one web page to another web page. So how we will implement that? Let's see now. Uh, for example, in our case, we have technology events in India. These are the events which we have displayed on our web page. Now our requirement is to view each of these events further details. See, this is these are the list of events which we have displayed on our main page, right? So on click of any of these events, we should be able to see more details about the event. Let's see how to implement that. Okay, let's switch to Visual Studio Code. So inside events folder, let's create a new folder with name as event hyphen details okay and inside this folder let's create component class which is required for it that is event hyphen details dot component dot ps okay so to define this component class we have to provide a html another html page inside this event detail so that on click of any of the event it should navigate to that page and display the content specific event details content so now let's initially provide implementation for the component class okay that is import component from at the rectangular core okay Let's define component decorator. And inside this component decorator, let's provide template URL. Okay. So this is where we are providing our HTML content. So let's provide the path as dot slash event hyphen details dot component dot html so we have to create a file with event hyphen details dot component dot html okay and now let's define the class export class event details component okay so now we have the basic details which are required for the angular component for providing event details now let's create another file inside the same folder with event hyphen details dot component dot html. Okay, inside this folder, let's create another file event hyphen details dot component dot html. So here we have to provide more details about the event. So whenever on our web page, the main web page, we have list of events displayed. On click of any of the event, it should navigate to that page and display more details about the event that is our requirement okay so what we'll do let's declare some content over here okay div class equals container okay inside this let's declare div class equals row class equals some column inside this with some styling okay and i want to display here details about the event first i want to display event name okay that is event what name okay we are using interpolation to get the name details of the event and display on our web page okay and i want to display few more content so let's copy the same thing over here let's copy this and let's paste it we provide eight and we have to provide some other details over here for the event okay that is still with some strong tag date i want to display Okay, and here I'm going to label as date 
which will fetch event date okay dot date okay similarly i want to display time and price so let me copy this here i am going to change it as time okay price labels and respectively we will change as event dot time and event dot price okay now we have few content to display on our web page i also want to display one more details about the event that is address i want to display separately in another div okay div class equals column let's provide some styling for this okay and inside this we'll specify address for address again tag and label okay we'll provide dr slash for breaking and here we are going to specify event location because event location provides the address right so event dot location dot address and this is what i want to display for the address and i want to specify which city and country as well for the event because all these details we have specified while providing the data right in our service in our service in our previous video we have seen that we have provided details about these things okay so event location dot country okay so now we have created some data so that we want to display these event details specific event details on our web page okay now we have provided a component class and we have we are provided with a html content which we want to display now what is left in our service whatever the event service which we had created previously we have to create a function to get the event previously we had created a function if you observe over here inside shared folder event service.ts you have seen here get events get events will fetch all the events because it will return all the events right all the events data will be returned over here now in this case on a specific event i want to display the data so in that case we have to specify another function over here right which will uh, which will display only details of the particular event so let's specify now okay we'll give name as get event and this will take id as a parameter with number type okay because based on that id i am going to identify it is a particular event right it is a unique id return this will return events dot find of from event id event dot id equals equals id okay so we are defining a function over here inside our event service now after i define a function over here this event i have to use inside my component class right whatever i have uh, specified over here so let's go to component class and we have to inject this service whatever the event service which you have specified with this uh, function we have to inject inside our constructor so inside event hyphen details dot component dot ts let's define a constructor over here okay and let's create a private event service variable so that we can access the event service inside this component class from event service okay event service now i have injected the event service inside our event details component class i have to make use of ng on init so that on initiation this get event will get called see whenever we are making use of this function we have to call this we have to invoke this function right so we have to specify it inside ng on init so this function we have to invoke inside ng on init to understand more about this ng on init you can refer my angular 
hooks tutorial where i have specified life cycle hooks where i have specified more about this concept okay so this dot event will be equal to this dot event service is our local variable and which function i have to invoke here i have to invoke get get event function right so dot get event okay and get event takes one parameter if you observe over here id is a parameter which we have to pass for the event we have to uniquely identify the event right to specify its details so we have to pass the parameter id parameter so for now let's hard code this with one okay in the future video we will see how to pass dynamically the id for this parameter okay for this get event now there is an error over here for the event why because we have to declare this event as a variable inside this component class so let's declare it as event with type any okay so now this is done we are ready with the component class we are ready with the html content which we want to display and we are ready with the services where we are specifying the function to display these details now finally what is left finally what is left all three points are done right finally we have to register this inside our app dot module dot ts right so we have to register we have to uh, specify to angular that whatever we have specified over here make use of it so app dot module dot ts we have to register this event details component whatever we have created just now okay so inside declarations array pass event details component and now if you observe over here imports browser module is specified for this array and providers are event service and events app component this we have already specified over here right so everything is ready now so we have created another page which is ready for navigation now the only thing which we have to specify over here is uh, we have to see the routing okay from one page to other page how we can route from one page to other page we have to see over here so let's continue in our next video let's specify routing so that we will route from events list web page to particular events whatever the event details we want to display that event we will see thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos